Alright guys, BMT here. Wiggy's taking a break. He asked me to go ahead and make this video. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to share with you guys how you can play Street Fighter V PC playing two players using the XRK tank stick. So let's get started. Here we go. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and download two softwares that we're going to need to get our XRK tank stick going. So go ahead and open up a web browser and um, when you do that, you want to go ahead and go to a website called um, www.x360ce.com. This site will have the Xbox 360 controller emulator. Um, they're going to have two different versions. One is a 32-bit and one is a 64-bit. If you have Windows 10, I assume that you are a 64-bit uh, operating system. So you go ahead and want to download the 64-bit. You're going to have a window that pops open. Um, it's going to be the zip file. And just go ahead and click OK to download. Once you do that, uh, the next website we're going to visit is Headsoft. Com .au. Uh, you can go ahead and copy this. I'll have a link on the YouTube uh, video on bottom so you'll see the links that uh, I'll provide. Uh, once you go to this site, just go on the bottom and you're going to have also a few versions you want to download, but the one we're just going to need is going to be the first one the VJoy Virtue Joystick. Driver version 1.2, putting keys to the Joy uh, application. Click that and go ahead and click save file. All right, we've got two files that we need and let's start uh, installing them. You downloaded the two files that you needed. Let's go to the directory where you downloaded at. I downloaded mine in my downloads directory. So I got my two files there, the VJoy setup and the X360CE X64.zip. So let's go ahead and click the .zip on X360 and let's extract it, extract all. Um, you can probably put it inside, yeah, into your um, downloads directory and, and extract it. Once you extract that, um, let's go ahead and click on the VJoy setup, double click that, run the setup, let's go all defaults, accept the agreement, click next, default location, uh, click next, default name of the folder, click next, and install. All right. So we got that file in. All right, guys. Uh, this is a keyboard map, mapping for the XRK uh, tank stick. So go ahead and set up your joystick and buttons as you see on this uh, diagram. Uh, once you get this done, uh, we're going to move over to the next step of getting this set up. Next, we want to set up our VJoy joystick to keyboard software. So go ahead and click on your VJoy icon that's on your desktop. Once you do that, you're going to have that VJoy icon show up down your taskbar. And when that happens, just right click it, click open, and window will pop up right here. The first joystick we're going to go ahead and um, set up is going to be player number one. So right now, it's already been selected for you as joystick number one. Um, you're going to have your left, right, up, down, and so on. Right now, there's no keys assigned to it. So to assign a key, just go ahead and 
click on this button here, you're going to have this window pop up, press any key. Well, the key you want to press is your left joystick. So, player one left joystick. So you push it to the left, minus A, and then for right, you go ahead and click this button and press any key, which is the right joystick. And then this button for up, and this one for down, and this one will be for the buttons, button one, which is the whatever button one you made on the diagram. And two, then three, then so on. All right, once you have that set up, uh, we're going to do joystick number two. Let's click on the down arrow and choose joystick two. And right now there's no keys map for the directions. Uh, for direction left, right, up and down. So go ahead and click on this button for left. Press any key which is left. And then for right, up down and then for button one and so on all right once you have that done um, you can go ahead and click on enable you can save it um, I'll save mine to, I already have one saved here, so I'm just gonna overwrite it. Click save and click okay. Next guys, we're gonna go ahead and set up your Xbox 360 emulator gamepad. All right, so let's go, go ahead and go to the directory where you extracted the 360 uh, software. Uh, downloads and then x360ce directory and here's the executable so I'll go ahead and right click it click on copy and the next thing we need to do is go ahead and find Street Fighter 5 uh, executable so mine is located on C drive and program files x86 then Steam then Steam Apps, then Common, Street Fighter 5, and then it's not this one I need to go to, but this Street Fighter 5 directory here, and I need to go to Binaries, Win64, and this is where I paste file, x386, no, uh, x360, uh, ce underscore x64.xcool. Once you do that, double click the file. When you double click the file, you're going to have this error here. Not really an error, just letting you know that you need the file, uh, the DNL file. So go ahead and click on create. Once you create it, it's going to go ahead and do the search on Mac for settings. And just go ahead and click next. And it finds the executable, which is Street Fighter V, and click on Finish. And this one is trying to find your Virtue Joystick, the V-Joy, and just click Next. And it finds it for Street Fighter V, and click Finish. Alright, once you hear that sound, um, basically it's letting you know that it finds both joysticks. So let's start mapping it. Uh, for trigger, uh, let's map this. You click the, on the down arrow and click on record. Um, trigger button for me is, let me see here, I believe is my fierce punch, which is button three. And then bumper, 
bumper is going to be the combination of all three buttons. So that is my button seven. And then my start button is going to be the number two, uh, player two button on, on the X Arcade. Um, and then D-pad, you, you're not going to need D-pad um, for the stick axis X. Um, that will be your pointing to the right of your joystick of player 2. And then axis Y is pointing up for player 2. There you go. Stick button, don't need that. Keep that empty. Alright, and now I'll trigger uh, for this one. Right trigger is my fierce kick. So that is button six. And then bumper, which is the combination of all three kicks, is button eight. And then this button, which is Y, that is uh, button 2, which is my medium punch. And then X button is um, the weak punch. Then button B is strong kick. Button A is weak kick. And this stick axis not going to be either. Alright, so if it's actually working, I should move my joystick just fine. Pressing the buttons as a test just fine. Alright, looks good. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And you can go ahead and close this. And you can close this window too. Next, we're going to go ahead and test our game. Let's get started. Alright guys, I'm starting off Street Fighter here. So we're going to do a little test on player one and player two and we'll set up the controller uh, for player one all right let's look at the button preview all uh, directions looks good all punches looks good, all kicks and combo buttons look good. Alright, let's check out second player. Control settings, light punch, medium, hard, right kick, medium, hard, combo three, and combo four. Button preview. All directions looks good. All punches, all kicks, and combos. Go ahead and close. Proceed to match. And proceed to match. All right, we'll do uh, Ryu and Ken. Ryu, Ken, be on the battle. I was waiting for you. All right, skip the intro. Fight. We'll test directions: left, right, up down on can left right up down 
things might look a little slow because I'm running, uh, I'm trying to record it on this slow butt machine. So it's a little slow. Now we'll check on your buttons, um, punch button, kick buttons. Alright, they look good. So let's test some fireballs. Alright, some Adukin, 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 and Adukin, and some hurricane kicks, hurricane kicks. Alright, guys, it looks good. So both players are working fine. Now, um, if you did not have the 360 gamepad emulator and the VJoy, you're going to need to use the Xbox 360 adapter from X Arcade. Cost roughly, I think, about 30, 40 bucks, I think. But if you don't want to cough out that 40 bucks, here's your solution: using VJoy and the 360 CX or oh, CE. Um, Xbox Arcade uh, gamepad uh, emulator. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Aloha.